This video tutorial is all about a process known as leaf abscission. Now, leaf abscission is when plants drop their leaves. I um, just want you to have a moment um, to think about when they do that um, and why might it be um, advantageous for a tree to drop their leaves. So obviously, as we all know, um, during autumn, we see um, trees dropping their leaves. Now, um, specifically, that's um, because in sort of autumn time, the temperatures start reducing, it becomes colder, and the light levels also start reducing. When it's cold and when light levels are low, that's going to limit um, the amount of photosynthesis that um, a plant can do. So during um, sort of autumn and throughout winter, the cost of having leaves is going to actually outweigh the benefits of having them um, for that process of photosynthesis. So leaf abscission, um, it, will, it will help the plant survive winter um, by reducing the water loss through the leaf surface. Um, it will help the plant or the tree um, avoid frost damage um, and also avoid um, fungal infections um, through the sort of damp, cold leaf surface. There are three key hormones um, that are related to this process or important in this process of leaf abscission. Now, abscitic acid, we've actually come across already. Um, it was originally given its name because it was thought to have a role in leaf abscission. And in some, some trees, some plants, some species, it does appear to. But actually in others, um, it actually appears to um, sort of prevent this process from occurring. So we now understand auxin and ethene to be the major plant hormones um, responsible for leaf abscission. So first of all, auxin. Again, um, we have come across auxin already now um, in the experiments that were done um, by sort of Boyce and Jensen and Darwin and Went. Um, and we've seen um, auxin's role um, in phototropism. Auxin's produced by young cells near the growing points of the stem um, by young leaves and fruits. It, um, it inhibits, it prevents abscission from occurring. So as long as a leaf is making plenty of auxin, it won't fall off the tree. Ethene, um, an unusual hormone because it's a gas, um, it's produced by maturing or aging plant tissues, um, such as maturing fruits or aging leaves. So if you have, for example, a browning banana and you don't want the rest of your fruit to start going off, then it's um, strongly advisable to remove the banana or um, whatever fruit it is that is um, matured um, out of the fruit bowl to prevent the other fruits from going off. Um, the obviously uh, counter theory of that is that if you wanted to increase the rate of ripening of a certain um, fruit item, you might put um, sort of a browning banana next to it as that is going to be giving off ethene and will um, increase um, the rate of maturation in the other fruit. Now, the way that it acts, um, considering it is a gas, it moves through the plant by diffusion, through the air spaces um, between the cells. So what actually makes um, the deciduous trees um, drop their leaves in autumn? So young leaves um, produce auxin, and as autumn approaches um, and the leaves age, the rate of auxin production decreases. This reduction in auxin concentration makes the leaves more sensitive to ethene. More ethene is produced, and this in turn will inhibit auxin production. There's therefore been a change in the balance um, of auxin and ethene. So we've now got less auxin, auxin and more ethene um, present in the leaf. Now, that change in balance, that change in relative concentration, um, as a result of that, an abscission layer will begin to grow at the base of the, leaks, the leaf stalk. That's called the petiole. So the petiole um, is made of 
thin walled cells, um, which are then weakened by enzymes that hydrolyze the polysaccharides in their walls. Eventually, um, this layer of cells is so weak, it'll become so weak that the petiole will break and the leaf will fall off. Before this happens, um, the tree will grow a layer of protective tissue um, where the leaf will break off, leaving a scar which prevents the entry of pathogens. And that's obviously going to be really important um, for the health of the plant. The cells in this layer have um, suberin, spelt S-U-B-E-R-I-N, in their cell walls. And um, suberin is a waxy, waterproof substance, which is also found in the cell walls of um, cork cells in tree bark. 